bispecialsolutions.com my name is amit and i am a co-founder and cto for bispecial solution so in today presentation we are going to talk about an interesting scenario uh, this is this is an essence of my past 22 years of working into financial and technology industry so what all i am going to talk about it based on my experience so I, I meet many people as part of my job role and I find they are good accountant, they are good at technology, but uh, they like to, they're looking for career migration or career progression from an accounting or finance professional to a data analyst. Okay. And as I'm sure that this is very hot topic and a lot of opportunities are there as a data analyst in the career offer. And being an accountant, your career path is very limited and probably in terms of compensation and career growth is also very confined and therefore you are looking for a career progression and the best career progression could be in, a, in today's an IT technology world is a data science. Okay. So we are talking about all, everything in today's class. So what data analyst is right this as the name itself explanatory. I'm going to underline and highlight those words. So data analytics simply means the science of analyzing data as an accountant day in day out you play with numbers right so that is your there's your natural skills isn't it so how to use this data in a format which is meaningful so that your executive and business user can take decisions so converting data into actionable format that's called data analytics and because you guys day in day out play with numbers, this is naturally your skills. You just have to inculcate some little technical skills on top of that. So you, you will take a raw data from the source and then you do a couple of activities, data massaging, transformation, data visualization, and you present data in a format that is relevant to the business users. So you apply various trends on a raw data, drawing conclusion, since you understand business, you understand finance, you understand accounting, that is your power. You can use that power and knowledge to convert your you know, knowledge into an actionable format. So ultimate objective is to the most accounting professional use data analytics to make informed decision or all the decisions are based on facts, based on all the decisions you do in business are not based on gut feeling it is based on certain facts so what skill do you need right now you're working as an accountant or your simple commerce graduate to a data analyst let's see so as an accountant what job do you do and as a data analyst what job you are going to do now okay so as an accountant graduate or a commerce professional you have been trained on uh, you know how to record business transaction Maybe you you are responsible to render, you know, employee payroll. You do account reconciliation. You prepare financial reports, internal management report, external financial report like balance sheet, profit loss statement, cash flow, product profitability, sales report, and probably you are also responsible for preparing budget. So this job you have been doing for many years, or probably you are educated on doing this job. Now the very popular tool we use in India for accounting like tally, mark, or in US we use QuickBooks. So when you record this transaction, it could be semi-structure or probably raw data. This raw data go through different level of processing, which we call data massaging, transformation, or pre-processing of the data. And then we convert this data into knowledge. <coughs> well, the name indicates knowledge is something actionable, right? So what you need, on top of the existing knowledge of tally, mark and QuickBooks, you need to inculcate an additional skills playing with the numbers and turning into a actionable format. That's what you're going to do it. Okay. Now, why you need to do this? See, in accounting, every industry is getting impacted by machine learning and artificial intelligence. So all the traditional job which you have been doing for past many years, they are going to be replaced by an automation process. This has already started and this will continue to happen because companies are trying to lean their cost, they lean their processing cost, accounting, management, payroll cost. And therefore you're bound to, this is not a choice now, you're bound to acquire new skills to remain competitive in the market. Okay. 
so as part of your job role accounting technologies are becoming more automated and the role of new accountant is shifting from an accountant to a business advisor isn't it so when you join any multinational companies an accountant is also somebody who's going to give advice to the management and when the things are going to be automated you you are left with two choice either you leave your job or you acquire new skills right so i am sure you all of like to acquire new skills what you do in accounting as we mentioned invoicing account reconciliation process payroll management expense reporting blah 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 but this data is not required your cfo your senior decision makers board of director you know all the stakeholders do not require this data directly they need data in a format that can be used for decision making but from a raw data or semi structured data to final finished good there are a lot of steps involved into this process so you because you understand accounting and finance you are the best person or best you know job profile who can perform this job so in the bottom i have taken a screenshot you are doing a accounting for a current period but your cfo would like to project this data perform certain prediction or modeling or trending on top of this data maybe on liquidity cash you would like to prepare your future cash flow you like to see various you know kpis liquidity ratio quick ratio current ratio investment on equity fixed asset related investment there are a lot of thing you can do it you would like to project your data prepare certain prediction based on based on market trends based on the changing price of the raw material isn't it so your existing knowledge on data and business processes are going to be big value addition in your career <clears throat> the question is that you are an accounting and finance professional but you are getting into an it job and you do not know programming are you ready to learn programming or do you need to learn programming question is that so well the good thing as i mentioned you already carry certain skill you need to leverage your existing skill with the technology what technology tools you need to learn to be data analyst well it is absolutely optional you can be a programmer and you may not be a programmer even without knowing programming language you can still be an analyst right so first thing which i suggest all of you should have bound to have it you know the communication skill because now your job role is changed you are no more an accountant you are going to play a critical role in a business you are going to communicate to senior executives cfos fpna financial planning analysis team many of time you can be a part of the board of director meeting as well subject to the job role you are playing you can be budget manager financial controller so a lot of job roles are there where you are going to you, you can be a key person for a communication so communication skills plus naturally knowledge of business let's say you have been working to banking or finance or industry power sector certain business certain domain now that you must have a knowledge of the domain or the industry you are working for <clears throat> now you have a two skills accounting knowledge and domain knowledge these two skills now one more additional skill you need to acquire now which is your technology so good technical skills technical skills there are various product right for example since you are coming from an accounting background the area where you need to pay attention first you will start with advanced excel the new generation excel do a lot of features you can do predictive modeling you can do data massaging transformation and all okay and on top of this even if you're not a programmer the new generation programming languages like python and r the syntax or the way you write program is super easy super easy even a high school pass student can do this job i'm not saying you become an excellent programmer overnight what i'm saying on top of your excel skill you can still learn python since you are comfortable with your data you can do a lot of modeling with with python and r programming if you still think you are not good at programming you have an alternate to this you can skip this and i'll talk about an alternate anyways you are good at excel then you can use data presentation visualization and dashboarding using tools like tableau this is a data visualization tool data presentation power bi they are super easy they are designed in such a way that even a non it guys can work on that <clears throat> why so because the more technology people are involved the more it we involve more software we involve the higher cost of execution and every company is trying to lean the it cost 
right therefore you can use tableau click and there are other there are many other bi reporting tools you know business intelligence a data visualization tool some of their high cost some of their absolutely low cost remaining in excel you can do very rich data visualization so probably you're working for a smaller mid sized company and they have a limited budget but they still like to make you the beautiful dashboarding you can still do this you can do plenty of automation remaining in excel right so do we do not underestimate excel and other capabilities we can use it extensively next this is where i like to draw your addition your attention explicitly okay what are you going to contribute in technology excel is one skill to some extent you can be you can learn programming like uh, r programming and python let's say you are not good at programming and you don't feel like you don't develop your interest in programming you find it difficult what alternative you can do it so when you take a raw data from various sources like clickbook tableau or clickbook tally mark or various other accounting and erp tool you take the raw data from the source system maybe your customer relationship sales data order processing vendor management accounts payable receivable you take this data you collect this data and we do a lot of cleansing now what cleansing is because we need data to be present to the senior executives cfos ceos board of director data has to be quality right data inconsistency quality is big hurdle so you can do a lot of data quality check since you know accounting you know what data is relevant meaningful to the customer isn't it you already know balance sheet structure you know profit loss statement structure you know cash flow it appear like so you can do a lot much more data cleaning and preparation work so there's one job you can do it in the whole process you can do data collection you can do the data cleansing and preparation and data visualization now there's one more additional layer on top of data visualization called exploratory data analysis exploratory so the term exploratory entails driven from data you are exploring some patterns some data trends for example while you are navigating your customer data uh, customer sales order processing data you find customer of certain segment let's say customer from center part of india during the during summer season they buy certain kind of product or during winter season they buy certain kind of product right so customer has certain buying behavior which is not clearly visible but when you start processing their sales order processing data or sales data you can find certain patterns explore it explore certain pattern certain behavior right so you can visualize this data and based on this data your management can offer certain additional discount some some more features so that they can leverage promote it right? and the real life example the company who uses this functionalities data analytics you can compare between big bazaar and dmart right and now compare dmart strategy so much strategically they have been doing retail business they place their store you know in a low cost their the infrastructure cost is very very low they deal in bulk bulk buying so what do you think how are they taking the all decisions right which product they should buy in which region which state what type of product is more popular they are definitely based on the analytics you can be a part of this analytics and subject to your interest when you grow up in your career ladder probably you explore more interest in programming you can go into program you know machine learning machine learning area as well right i mean it's it's subjective you start your career and then what level you like to go into it subject to your interest as i was talking about you are not an programmer right you are not coming from a technology you are not a software developer then how you can still work as a data analyst so technology or the skill can be broadly classified as technical and non technical skill for sure you can leverage your non technical skills communication skill problem solving skill by going to various use cases domain knowledge domain knowledge you are working on healthcare or finance or procurement or retail industry whatever domain you have so any time when problem statement comes when business user you know the management wanted to address certain problem 
your domain knowledge big be a big value addition and technical skills you can pick up certain areas like which are relatively easy data visualization you can do without programming right plus some some programming part you can pick it up over here data visualization part plus data mining data cleansing and there are lot of other more activities like data enrichment those are fancy keywords but when you start working into that you find them easy to work on okay the next question well you have been working as an accountant but now you see your career growth is stagnant isn't it and now you feel like you should hop on another skill but the primary and motivating factor is your salary so the entry entry level and as you grow up in your career ladder your salary continue to grow bound to grow because you have got adequate knowledge in the business in general let's say entry level graduate easily earn 4 to 5 lakh rupees 4 to 5 lakh rupees an entry level graduate okay and as you gain more expertise on the domain and skills it definitely grow unlike being an accountant uh your your growth is stagnant your cost to the company as an accountant your cost to the company you're costing them but as a business as a data analyst you are a catalyst to the company catalyst mean you bring money to the business you help them getting more revenue you're playing from the front okay so there are various cases of machine learning you know available for accounting and financial domain couple of cases i highlighted over here some of the job which you have already been doing right but you want to automate this process make more intelligent processes by incorporating technology like potential identify potential fraud uh, streamlining your accounting processes predict your auditing options for financial statement you can in turn if you probably join an investment banking or wholesale banking or even traditional banking right uh, you can help organization figuring out by the knowledge of the data you have like customer fraud assets mis asset mis misappropriation insurance and banking financial statement fraud many of time you you know people cook accounting books or there are some human errors some anomalies right those can be detected by using machine learning data science or at least you can create a user stories in excel as a beginner as an entry level graduate okay so this is what i'll explain based on my experience if you're looking for a career career uh, advice or some sort of support so that you know you can plan your career migration you can feel free to reach out to bisp solution and bistraining.com if you are based out in bhopal madhya pradesh and you're looking for in personal training we have a facilities in uh, development and training facilities in bhopal as well so that's it for today thank you very much